Alright, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Mackenzie. Hit the subscribe button, stick around because lots of fun videos are coming your way. I am a senior fashion merchandising student at Kent State University and I will be attending their Florence campus this fall for my last semester of college and my undergraduate degree. I couldn't be more excited. If you guys have been keeping up with my videos then you know I've been doing quite a bit of shopping, packing, and prepping. And today I wanted to sit down and show you guys everything that I'm bringing with shoes, accessories, and clothing. I will be there from August 20th when it will be 96 degrees outside when I arrive until December 16th when it will be 40 degrees outside. So we're going to cover quite a few seasons and it's going to be a very big culture shock. I've never been to Europe. I really appreciate all of your guys' comments and thoughts and sweet messages and emails just kind of mentally preparing me for this huge transition. I know I'm certainly excited. I thought that this would just kind of be a fun way to show you guys um, what's made the cut so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today if you are interested in seeing how I'm going to fit all of this into one checked suitcase and one international carry-on suitcase stay tuned because that's gonna be my next video first a lot of you guys recommended like easy breezy lightweight linen dresses so I've picked up a ton the reason that I ended up bringing a lot of these is because a it's what I feel most comfortable in B, I have class four days a week, and I've always loved how easy just a dress and sneakers is for class. And C, a lot of these basic dresses can be transitioned into the fall time with just like a long sleeve turtleneck and a pair of tights and boots. So for me, they were very versatile pieces um, and things that I really enjoy wearing. So first dress I'm bringing is this black little baby doll dress from Petal and Pup. Absolutely love this. It's three tiered. You'll see a lot of this style. It's one of my favorites. Again, and something that you could super easily transition into the fall time. Next up, I've got just a white baby doll dress. Again, love this style. Very, very cute. This one self ties along the shoulders, and I love how easy breezy this is. Another super easy, lightweight linen dress. Again, you just can't go wrong pairing these with either sandals or sneakers. This one is actually from a brand that I discovered while I was in California. Her materials are so soft. They're a little bit more expensive, but the quality is absolutely absolutely insane pieces that will last you forever. Something about this just gives me teacher vibes, but it screams Europe, very appropriate with the collar. It's a little bit longer than some of the other dresses, so I know that I can wear this for some of our walking tours and into some museums and things like that. How stinking cute is this right here? The perfect little sundress for a day of sightseeing, exploring. It does have pockets and it's double lined throughout, so it's not see-through. Got a cute little tie along the back and then just a small one along the front. This dress right here has to be one of my favorite pieces that I am bringing with me. I saw this on Showpo's website two months ago and when I saw it I knew it would have to come with me. The puff sleeves are absolutely gigantic. It's got just like a classic little A-line fit to it. This is such a gorgeous dress. One last white dress for you right now. I absolutely love this guy. It is very similar to the Zara dress that you're seeing all over your TikTok for you page except it is short. I specifically got this for a trip to Amalfi or Santorini. So these pieces in my hand right now are pretty much the only articles of clothing that I'm bringing that are colored. I'm really not bringing too too much color because I want to kind of create more of a capsule wardrobe. However, I have pulled just a handful of dresses that I am specifically bringing for different occasions. I know what you're thinking, Mackenzie, why are we bringing things for different occasions on this trip? Let's not forget that although I am a student, Instagram, YouTube, my website, and TikTok, are parts of my job so I have some certain brand deals that I have booked and I also have different travel and outfit guides that I'm really looking forward to putting together so photo ops while they are not everything for your trip to Europe they are definitely playing a part in my study abroad experience so I've got just a couple of things for that I love this floral dress it's long sleeved and I wasn't sure if I should bring this but so many of you guys commented on my TikTok saying to bring it with this dress right here has got a little bit of crinoline in it so it's got a really full skirt this is definitely 
something that I want to bring on one of our weekend trips and just really like get an amazing photo in this. I will also be attending Paris Fashion Week right now. Um, that's the plan. So I also thought that this with a pair of chunky heels could be very cute for one of those shows. I got this baby doll dress from Shein two months ago for my sorority recruitment series and I knew it needed to come with me. It's got a very sweet, very feminine floral to it. I thought that this with just a pair of sandals could be really awesome for one of our weekend travels, but I could also wear it with sneakers for class. Very gorgeous style, and it's got just a little V right here, which is super flattering. This dress, I was tempted to leave home, but I just have such an idea for this that I need to bring it with. It rolls into nothing. It weighs nothing. You're probably like, Mackenzie, this is a lot of dresses, but these pieces weigh nothing, and they fold up so small that they're really not taking up too much space, which is why I'm allowing myself to bring more. Another piece that I specifically am bringing for one of those Greece weekend trips, this is blue and white from Red Dress Boutique. So many of you guys love this. It's got like a little asymmetrical ruffle to it, just with a pair of sandals and a few straw accessories. Super exciting about this guy and then I'm actually working with a company called EBY and I have a brand deal featuring this green little slip dress so I'm bringing this this would be amazing over top of a turtleneck with some tights for the fall it's like a longer slip dress you could also belt this and make it short you could tuck this in and make it look like a tank top so very versatile okay moving on I do have a few longer dresses as well just because um, I know middies and maxis are desired for a lot of those churches. Perhaps you need a longer hem, maybe you need your shoulders covered. So I wanted to make sure that I was bringing a few options for that as well. The first one is just a white linen, like cotton maxi. This is another dress from that small California brand called Saltwater Luxe. Her pieces are so incredibly soft, like, and they're so lightweight. I'm specifically bringing this one with because it has pockets, which I love, and it's got thinner adjustable straps up top. This is another dress by her, and it is like a lightweight, almost like pinky purpley. I thought that I could wear this with sneakers, but I could also wear this over top of a swimsuit as more of like a cover-up. Another white maxi dress because I'm simply obsessed. These you just can rewear so much, you know, like it feels like a no-brainer to bring them. This one is from Lulu's, and it's got like a little bit of gold flex in it like as you can see um, like a little bit of tinsel amazing if you were going to Europe and possibly getting engaged or something like that I think that this would be just an incredible dress to bring and then my last dress that I have is from pepper mayo I love pepper mayo stuff this one is a sweater knit and it's super heavy in the sense that it's going to be amazing for late fall and honestly even as you transition into winter and moving on to rompers in jumpsuits I've got just a few the first is just a white baby doll style it honestly looks like a dress but it's a little bit looser in the crotch so it does have shorts the back of it's open and self ties gonna be amazing that first week of orientation with just a pair of sneakers and a cute little tote bag lightweight linen just one of those like boxier onesie style rompers I love these they're so easy to wear and they're super super comfortable I am such a sucker for utility style pieces and so many of these have been on my like European Pinterest boards so I've been bringing this one easy piece to transition into the fall time I honestly will probably wait and wear this then and then I do have one workout romper so several of you guys have reminded me that Europeans do not really go out in athleisure or comfy clothes or things like that but the reality is is that I will be spending some time in my apartment just lounging around you know editing videos and things like that perhaps if I wanted to wear errands so I'm bringing this romper from Spanx it's absolutely amazing it's one of those like unitard styles and look at how small it rolls up like it literally weighs nothing but it looks amazing on this is so fun probably more of a statement piece you guys, if you know me, then you know that this is really good for me. Like, I am a statement piece wearer, and for this, I really tried my best to only pack basics. So, this is one of those statement pieces that I'm just allowing myself to bring, and then I'll give it to one of my roommates. Two-piece sets, you gotta love them. This is a set that I'm also bringing for a partnership that I'm completing right when I get there. It's from that same brand, EBY. They've got, like, silk shorts. I don't actually have too many shorts that I'm bringing. I only have, like, two, three other pairs. So this is kind of nice because I can wear these together or I can wear them separate and they're like that champagne color that is so popular right now. And then the top.
top it just looks like this obviously you could wear this blouse with just a pair of jeans or even dress pants a skirt like so many ways that you can wear this it looks like a box when you just hold it up but it kind of like cinches in and gives you that cute little cowl neck very classy style super modest this is another set that had shorts and part of the reason why I'm not really bringing shorts is because both of these sets had one so these are just like a deeper brown and they are that same paper bag style they've got pockets and they definitely run a little bit big so if you're in between sizes I would suggest going down honestly I'm not sure if the description bar is big enough to fit all of these links if it is not I will have a blog post up sharing links to literally everything that you see in this video and then this is a two-piece set that just looked so great on I have to bring it's from pepper mayo and it's just like a body con skirt I obviously could wear that on its own or I can wear these pieces together okay moving on in to bottoms I've got one white mini skirt this one's like not super short again you could wear this on its own or you could wear it with tights um, very lightweight easy breezy linen then I'm bringing this black sweater knit skirt. So it's a skirt in the front, but it's shorts in the back. It's got like a bigger gold buckle and it's a very thick um, warm material I figured that this would be a great transition piece and super trendy many of you said to bring a maxi style for some of the churches and museums and things like that so I have this guy it fits amazing these kind of like give off the vibe of dress shorts but they're not super fancy as far as the material feels they're like a lighter weight linen I am bringing one pair of denim shorts just this pair of blue ones I was tempted to bring a couple of others and then I was like you know I have so many Many dresses and pieces for when it's warm out that I think one pair is just fine any of you guys warned me that Europeans dress a little more elevated and so pants are more of the vibe rather than jeans so I'm still bringing jeans because the reality is I'm going to class with a bunch of Americans so I will be wearing some jeans to class once temperatures cool down but I also wanted to bring um, some pants as well for different occasions so I'm bringing these white linen ones they're a little bit flowier they're double lined so they're not see-through at all I know some white flowy pants can give off beach cover-up vibes these I always feel really great and I've worn them for business casual as well and I always get tons of compliments on them they're from Petal and Pup I'm not sure if they're still in stock I've had them forever and then I'm bringing these like light tan khaki ones from Express Express is an amazing place to look for more elevated pieces and then I'm also bringing a pair of black ones these are actually more of like a stretchy knit material they're like a sweater material so definitely something that's gonna keep you a little bit warmer you could wear these as comfy casual pants you could dress them up for me narrowing down my jean collection of like 70 pairs of jeans to three was so hard I know I'll probably get sent some from different brands deals while I'm there but what I decided on was one pair of black straight legs these are some of my favorite pants ever they're so comfortable these blue straight legs which if you guys have seen my page then you have seen these I wear them all the time a lot of you guys said to bring jeans that don't have rips in them I have a brand deal like already in the works that a package is getting delivered there it'll be there when I arrive that has no rips so that's why I only packed one pair of blue jeans and then I'm bringing these as well. These have a little more elevated feel to them. They're like a light, like an ivory, kind of khaki-ish straight leg. Okay, let's talk about outerwear. It does get cold in Italy. I'm not really sure how cold, but I know it's nowhere near as cold as Kent. Where I go to school is in Ohio, and it's in the snow belt. So between the months of December and like March, it never gets above freezing. It's always so cold, and we get a lot of snow. I know that we won't really see snow when we're in Europe, but we might still need a jacket. So I'm bringing this like khaki one right now. It's like a bomber. And it's double lined it's got a little bit of fluff to it but it's not super heavy I figured come time for a heavy winter coat I will just buy one when I get there it just took up too much space to bring it with and then I am bringing this black windbreaker slash raincoat from Columbia this actually like folds up into a little square so you can just keep this in a tote bag it's not very heavy by any means but I figured one little raincoat was probably better than none so I'm bringing that with I have two of these like scarfs slash shawls this one is really cute it's like ivory and black you can wear this as a scarf you can wear it as a top you can wear it as a shawl a lot you can do with these I personally really like throwing 
throwing these like on my tote bag and then if it gets cool at night like at dinner you can just toss it over your shoulders like this they're also great if you are going to be popping in and out of churches and you just need to cover up your shoulders so i have that one and then this is actually my three yard wrap from blue salt um this is cashmere and it's they have three different sizes so i have the three yards this is like literally a blanket i use it as a towel when i go to the beach like i don't wipe my body with it when i'm wet but i do lay on it when i go to the beach and you can also wear it like around the shoulders um you can wear this as a dress because i do have the longer version if you bring like anything on your trip i really recommend one of these they're amazing okay sweaters and knits so the first thing that I have is this adorable little cardigan you can wear it buttoned up or you can wear it unbuttoned for more of like a cover-up of a dress and it kind of just reminds me of like doilies I love this it's from Walmart I get so many questions on this and I feel like it's super Europe I'm then bringing this ivory cardigan from H&M I have this in a size extra large for a more oversized fit I picked up this one from loft and it's a little more structured a little more tapered and definitely a little more elevated of a piece it's got a lot of structure Boleros are really big in Europe and I'm really excited about them because I've always loved wearing wearing these but I get like a lot of weird looks when I wear them you know to school here basically this is just like it's a sweater material but it's just the arm portion so these are great transition pieces when you need just a little bit of warmth but nothing too crazy and then I'm also bringing this white pullover from Aerie I'm actually gonna wear this on the plane there with just a tank top and a pair of like leggings I love this because you can dress it up it looks really great with a collared shirt layered underneath and then the cuffs sleeves okay moving in to tops I've got a handful so bear with me buckle up I'm bringing three different button-ups I absolutely love button-ups and I have this one in both black and white it's absolutely amazing it's from Shein and it is one of the nicest quality pieces I have in my whole closet I wore this all summer long and I made sure to get a new one before I left for Europe I wear this in a size small it looks amazing buttoned up it looks amazing left undone with a tank top or a bodysuit underneath or you can wear this as a swimsuit cover up so like I said getting it in both black and white just this light blue and white pinstripe button up again a great transition piece this one's from Hollister and then I actually have this white it's kind of like a button up but it actually instead of buttons it's grommets and as you can see this does not have a collar it's actually just like a deeper V so if you know me you know I am a huge fan of Express's body contour line this is basically their version of the Aritzia basics of skims pieces and I've tried all of the basics on the market and I will stand by this forever and ever and ever this is not sponsored Express has the best basics you can wear these as business casual pieces you can wear them them out to the club you can wear them to a party you can wear these pieces to class you can do literally anything in these they are double lined you do not have to wear a bra with them because they're not see-through even the white yes even the white and they are suctioned they have contouring material in them that they hold and sculpt everything in its place so I have worn these for several years and I am bringing both the white the ivory and the black in the following pieces so I have their t-shirt version I love their t-shirts because they are just a little bit cropped it's not exactly full length but this does cover your belly button and you don't have your stomach on display so like I said I am bringing this top in this t-shirt that covers your shoulders in ivory I'm bringing it in white and then I'm bringing it in black. In addition, I am bringing these same color variations in their high neck tank top. This is the same length. I wear these a lot with layered jewelry. I wear them underneath of cardigans and button ups very frequently. I've worn these for years. My roommates love to borrow these from me. I'm bringing it in white and then I'm bringing it in the ivory as well. I also have the Express Body Contour tank top bodysuits so these are some of my favorite pieces you can make these very modest but you can also give yourself a really good boob scoop with these and you can wear them out i've worn both of these bodysuits out many many times in kent 
What I love about the Body Contour bodysuits is that they are thong style and they snap along the crotch. I'm bringing this one in black and I'm bringing it in white. The only reason I'm not bringing it in ivory is because they do not make it in ivory. When I like something, I get it in both colors. I am also bringing these seamless tanks from Bolt Boutique in white and black. I wear these if I do any type of physical activity. I wear them as pajamas, just kind of like as I lounge around the house. And I also wear them underneath the sweatshirts. They're more of a travel day piece for me. And then I do just have two ribbed cotton t-shirt bodysuits. These are not from Express, but I'm just bringing both of these because I think they're great basics to have. These ones are high neck too. So I've just got a black one and then I've got this like light tan one as well. Good fall staple. Okay, and then I do have a few fun tops, although I will admit most of them are still neutral colors. So the first one I have is this white little tank top. It's got like a cute little bow along the side. This is actually from Walmart. I'm doing a partnership with them right when I get there and shooting these photos. So I'm bringing this with, gonna wear that to class. And then I also have this one from them. I absolutely love the little bow along the center. And then this black sweetheart neckline top just a little bit of crop I love this bodysuit from Express it's got like eyelet lace to it thought this would be amazing with a cardigan for one of our school field trips this is from Express as well so it does have the thong snap bodysuit so I got this bodysuit from Lulu's and this is like marketed as it can be worn a ton of different ways I think I styled it like four or five for you guys in the try on portion of this but there are more ways that you can wear it. I just got it in white. If they carry it in black, I definitely wanna look into that because it's an amazing piece and it's super, super soft. I really love this. Okay, and then last up for the tops, I am bringing this little feather tube top. Again, a statement piece. I know I only have a couple of them. I'm actually bringing this either for Paris Fashion Week or just a Paris photo op in general. I have had this vision and this photo saved forever and so I'm just bringing this little guy to wear with a fun pair of black pants. Okay so while I'm at it, comfy clothes. I obviously know that I'm not going to be wearing leggings to class in Florence but I am still gonna be wearing leggings at some point while I'm there. So I'm just bringing my Airy Crossover Flares. These are like the yoga pant version. I love these, I wear them all the time when I'm around the house. And then I'm just bringing my like regular leggings. I figured these would be really comfortable to travel in and just hang around the house while I'm doing laundry, things like that. I am bringing two hoodies. I'm bringing one that is white and I'm bringing one that is black. They're zip ups and then the white ones have a pair of sweat shorts to go with. These are the only comfy shorts I'm bringing so fingers crossed I don't regret that I am bringing a couple of t-shirts to wear to bed I know that this might be random to show you guys I've had all three of these t-shirts forever if I can still find them I'll link them down below um, just my three favorites this pink one that says good vibes on it I have this Rolling Stones one and then if you've watched any of my travel vlogs you've seen this shirt um, that's the Joshua Tree one. I literally bring this on every single vacation ever. Okay, now for shoes, and I know you guys are gonna yell at me because I am definitely bringing more pairs than people have suggested bringing, but bear with me, okay? So for the fall time, I am bringing two pairs of boots, one tan and one black. These are the Steve Madden Hutch. They are absolutely amazing. I love these boots. If I could pick any boot to wear for the rest of my life, I'd pick these. They're super lightweight and they've got more of that sock style. I really like these because they look great with jeans, but they also look great with dresses, which is kind of a hard combo to come by. And then I have a black version as well. Um, these are not the Hutch, but they're very similar. I'm bringing these because they've got a taller shaft to them more of like a sock booty style I've got two pairs of high top converse these are like my go-to shoes through and through I've got an all white pair and I've got a like light tan ivory khaki-ish pair and these have gold grommets to them I love both of these they have the cloud platform style bottom they're so lightweight it's unbelievable I have, I'm then bringing my Dolce Vita Xenas which if you know me these are like my go-to walking shoes I could literally walk 10 miles a day in these and so these were like a no-brainer for me mine are like really dirty and beat up so I'm sure that they will be trash by the time I get home I am planning on using these as like my everyday 
going to class sneaker. You can even see from the bottoms that they're already kind of worn down. Okay, and then I'm bringing four pairs of sandals, which probably seems like a lot, but these take up virtually no space and they weigh literally nothing. I know that I'm going to be wearing sneakers on a day-to-day -day basis and to class and things like that. I'm predominantly bringing sandals to throw in a tote bag for different photos and brand deals that I have going on, um, just to kind of, you know, make an outfit look a little more cohesive. I have these Franco Sarto straw sandals um, I have had a pair before and I literally wore them until the soles were like falling off I love these shoes they are so comfortable I can be on my feet all day and they're very flat as you can see but they've got a little bit of support to them so I'm bringing the straw version and then I also have these in white as well so bringing those my gold lace-up sandals have been through the ringer I've had these for years they're like walking on cardboard they have literally no support to them and they are you know, like not a supportive shoe at all. However, I can stand in these forever and they look amazing for photos. So I'm bringing these to go with some of those like statement dresses for those weekend trips. And then I'm bringing my Dolce Vita little Paley type sandals in black. Um, I love these, they're super comfortable. I used to wear these to work a ton. Then very quickly for bags that I am bringing with, so many of you said that you use your Lululemon fanny pack on a day-to-day -day basis. I have a white one and a black one, so I'm just bringing both. Again, these weigh nothing and they're so amazing. So I'm bringing both of mine. And then I'm also bringing this little crossbody purse from Shein. I've had this forever. I love this purse because it has like different sections to it. So you can keep your valuables closer to you, but you can keep other things in the outside pocket. It's also got this like little coin attachment to it. It's a great size purse. It fits everything and God forbid it gets stolen. I don't really care too much about this purse. I am bringing this straw tote for the sake of some of my weekend trips, just throwing my beach bag in. Believe me, I know it's not wise to have something see-through. This is literally only gonna have my towel in it. So bringing that. And then lastly, I am bringing my long champ tote. I've had this since I was 16 years old. I got it for my 16th birthday and I got the size large when everyone else was getting a size small. And I'm so glad I did. This fits literally everything. And I don't say that lightly. I use this as a personal item quite a bit. You can fit about two days worth of clothes in this. And my favorite thing about it is that this actually folds into like a square that's this big. So oftentimes I will carry a backpack and I'll just fold the purse inside and stick it inside of the backpack. I also use this as a beach bag because it's nylon so it can get wet. So I know it's not the trendiest bag ever. I know it's a little outdated, but for me it's one of the most practical pieces I own in my closet. So that's what I'm bringing it with. That is everything that I am bringing with to Europe. Of course, I am also bringing jewelry and socks and underwear and bras and toiletries and all that stuff. So if you want to see how I'm packing those things you're just gonna have to come back for my pack with me I wanted this to kind of just be more of not like a haul but like kind of a haul kind of a try on because I know a lot of you guys were curious on what I was going to like I had been getting a lot of stuff so I know you guys were kind of wondering what made the cut so yeah Lots of summary pieces, like I said, I will be getting mail while I am there. I am so grateful to be working with various brands um, on Instagram and TikTok, my YouTube and my website. So I will definitely be receiving mail when I am there. I know I'm sure many of you guys are wondering how I'm going to get everything home. I'm very grateful that I have roommates the same size as me who gladly take hand-me-downs. Um, I am looking into different donation spots while I am there. I donate a ton of clothes when I'm home as it is. So. I'm not opposed to donating while I am there either. And see, I do have like another duffel bag that I am bringing with that I can hopefully fill and send home so I can pay for a third bag when I am on my way back to the United States. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that it was maybe helpful if you're going to Europe soon. I hope that this gave you some ideas as to what to pack and make sure to stick around. I would love to have you guys join the fun. I will have lots of Europe content coming your way starting now. So follow me on Instagram too while you're at it, stylebymckenzie.com, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Love you.